is packing with you, you too. Shout out to the PAG Pack Attack Gang. Y'all know who you are. You want to know who they are? Check the description box. The, the links will be in there in the description box. Um, back with another Vid Cage TV. This channel, we talk about the greatest football team in sports history, the mighty Green Bay Packers. And right now they're not looking too mighty. We, you know, this year we are three and five after losing to the Buffalo Bills. I guess you could, you know, you know, the media is trying to say that this was a moral victory type game for the Packers. I guess, I mean, if that's what you want to call it, a moral victory. Um, like I said in my last video, I just wanted to see these guys go out there and fucking compete um, against allegedly the best one of the best teams in the nfl i really don't think so um but that's the narrative that the nfl is running with so we'll just run with that with them being one of the the uh super bowl contending teams for the afc uh, we'll see though um shout out to tr uh did an interview with him on his channel that's T with two E's, not one, two E's. Uh, so, yeah, this game, uh, I like what we did defensively. Um, you know, this team has got to start being engaged into the game as soon as the game starts. We can't be having these slow starts. Um, you know, the offense is still a work in progress. That's just something we're going to have to live with right now. Um, but they did but they did look better this game. Man, that was a crazy accident. They did look a lot better this game. Um, played with a sense of urgency. The offensive line looked great blocking for Aaron Jones. Um, sucks that Elton Jenkins couldn't be out there. Um uh, aiding the offensive line i think we could have made this game be a little bit closer than what it was i mean we controlled the clock we have more yards we have more first downs we just got to find ways of putting the ball in the end zone a lot more often um but as far as the run game look i thought thought the run blocking was great uh aaron jones was the star of the team he took advantage of his opportunities when he got them and he made the most of it. Um, some positives with the receivers. Big plays by uh, Romeo Dubs and uh, Samari Torre. Even um, Amari Rogers caught a big, big play downfield. So this is still going to be a thing of progression with the receivers. Um, which I'm not mad about. You know, I know everybody is still hoping that we can make some kind of splash and during the trade deadline or picking up a guy in free agency still, uh, which is still an option. Um, but for the most part, you want to see the sense of urgency from the receivers. It sucked to see Christian Watson get hurt like that. Um, so Green Bay Packer fans, stop attacking his family. You know what I'm saying? That's just kind of messed up. Uh, the guy is young. He has to learn. He has to get into his football football shape. He's not in football shape yet. He's not the football player that the Green Bay Packers are going to make him into. Um, so, yeah, that's a progression thing. Hopefully he can bounce back and play this week against the Lions. Um Hopefully, Elton Jenkins could be back too and help and help uh, help us beat the Lions. So, uh, I wasn't impressed with the pass rush. You know, haven't seen uh, Rashawn Gary out there. You know, playing with an injury just sucks so much, man. Just sucks so much. But I got to give credit to the backup linebackers that came in the game when um, Quay Walker got ejected and. Uh, uh, Devondre Campbell got hurt, you know, Isaiah McDuffie pretty much was calling the plays on defense. You know, <laughs> during, the, during the rest of the game, he took over and, 
you know, the defense put up a fight. Got some turnovers on Josh Allen. Kind of slowed him down a little bit. It could have, it did, we didn't let it get out of hand. I was thinking that they was going to probably put up a 40 burger on us, but it didn't, it didn't get that far. So, you know, there is some positives you could take away from that. Shout out to Higher Point of View. Uh, I mean, but, you know, I thought Aaron played a good game. I thought Aaron played a decent game, minus the interception. It, it would have been nice for him. You know, it would have been nice for him to, the, the, the kind of game he played, you know, it would have been nice to, ha you know, have a W attached to that. But it didn't happen. Um, we are three and five. We are who we, the, the <laughs> We are who our records say we are. We're a three and five team, subject to change, you know, based on the rest of the season and how, how everything plays out. But for the most part, um, this fight, this I mean, this this team showed some fight. It showed some effort. It was they were competitive. That's all I wanted to see is if they had some dog in them. Um, so that was that was nice to see on the defensive side of the ball and. On the offensive side of the ball, you know, guys started playing a, a lot better. Like, hey, we, we want to win. They was playing like they wanted to win. So we need to see a little more and more of that, and hopefully we will. Um, you know, we got a big division game coming up this week against the Lions, and that's not going to be no walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? Um, they always play us pretty, pretty, pretty well. So, uh but this game right here, they show some character. They show some grit. You know, it would have been nice to, you know, like I said, win a W, get the W, but that didn't happen. Um, so we have to move forward and make sure that we got our guys ready to play this week. I don't know if Devondre Campbell is going to be ready to play, but, you know, there is rumors coming around. Uh, or swelling around the defense that the, the I guess some of the vocal Packer players are not happy with what Joe Barry is doing. They're not happy. That's what I'm hearing, that the defense is not happy with the way Joe Barry is calling these games. They think that they should be playing a lot better than what they're doing. Um, and I guess they feel Joe Barry is not doing his job as a defensive coordinator to make sure that you know, they playing their best football every week. Um, and you can kind of sense that from the players, you know, just by the way they uh, interact with the reporters. You can tell that they're not, they not really happy with, with the performances that they're putting up. And hopefully Joe Barry can answer some of those uh, questions that this defense may have address these problems why people gotta drive crazy at night uh address these problems because you know we gotta fix these things we gotta fix these things um a lot of uh of course penalties played a big part in this game they took a touchdown from robert tunyon um some silly ass call you, you know it could have been you know 24 to whatever they scored 28 whatever they scored um so just got to live with those kind of things that happen in the game. Um, and maybe the Packers could figure out, figure out something to, to counter those kind of things from happening. You know what I mean? But uh, the main thing right now is fixing this offensive line, getting, getting Elton Jenkins back out there. You know, he said he had a setback in practice, had a little injury, foot injury in practice. Hopefully, you know, he'll be able to rock and roll against the Lions because it'll be nice to have finally a good foundation or, you know, our best lineman out there on the field with Aaron Rodgers. Making things happen, you know, this offensive line giving him some time to make plays down the field. You know, now we see the emergence of Samari Torre and Romeo Dubs really starting to uh, uh, understand the standard that Aaron Rodgers has been preaching about in his interviews with the Packer reporters. 
So, um, you know, just to, just something to keep in mind with, um, the progression of this team. Um, as far as the coaching, I love the drive. Some, I love the drives that we scored on that, that Matt LaFleur has scripted, man. That, that's what we want. That's what we want to see. Now, we've been waiting all this time for you to give Aaron Jones the ball. You kept talking about it every week, every week. Oh, he, we got to find ways to put the ball in his hands. And when you do, this man creates magic on the field. And we have to feed off of that. We have to feed off of that as an offense. That's what gets the offense going when they start seeing the running back <laughs> averaging damn near, damn near seven yards a carry in this game. The guy was averaging seven yards a carry in the game. You, I mean, you talk about building some momentum. That's how you build some goddamn momentum on the offense, by giving a, the ball to your best player. You already know the receivers are struggling, and I understand, Matt. I understand. These guys have to get these reps. They got to get the reps. They got to get the reps. I understand. That's how these receivers are going to get better. They got to get the reps. I understand that. But when it comes to audible and making sure the right play is in, you and Aaron have to be on the same goddamn page. Y'all got to be on the same goddamn page, man, when calling these plays. That's very key. That is very key. We can't have Aaron going up there, switching plays around at the last minute. The clock is ticking low, 2-1. He finally trying to hike the ball because he's trying to get as much information as he can. Sometimes you got to play fast football to throw the defense off. If you, you got the clock ticking, it, it's giving them all the time in the world to, to, to figure out what y'all going to do. So, you know, that's some things that the, the Packers going to have to work on, man, is uh, the way that they deal with the play clock, getting the play call in. You know, another thing, too, hoping that the young guys understand the play call that's going in. That's why Aaron was saying we need to simplify things. We need to make things a little bit more simpler you know and that's that's play the play call you know Aaron has said this before that Matt LaFleur like to have these long play calls alpha z right twist uh flanker 82 uh <laughs> 82 um up and out you know all these this long drawn out play call that you know might confuse the guys, might have them running the wrong route. So, if Matt Lafleur could just simplify the play calling, or you know the 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 uh, wording of the play that's being called, it'd probably register a lot better for the receivers to understand what is going on. So, with that being said, man, I'm gonna end this video here. I know it's probably a lot more I could talk about. Um, as far as uh, other things that happened in this game, you know, I don't want to get into the whole Quay Walker ejection. Matt LaFleur is right. He got to, you know, keep his head on straight and not let, you know, uh, things that don't matter in the game matter in the game. So you just got to keep his head right, keep his cool, don't engage into, you know, dudes that ain't doing shit. And play and play football. Um, as far as the trade deadline, you know, you had guys at the game, you know, talking to Mark Murphy about making a trade happen for a receiver, and he, you know, yeah, we're we're gonna do something. That's what he said, walking away from the fan that they put on Instagram. So we, we we never know. <laughs> we never know what's going to happen. Um, now you're hearing all these other rumors about Odell Beckham Jr. Now they're talking about the 49ers. Might, the, he, might be, he might be headed to the 49ers because they beat the Rams, like I told y'all before. These are just rumors. You know what I mean? 
because if OBJ was going to go to Buffalo, like Von Miller said, Buffalo would have signed him already. So let's just keep that in mind. Um, oh, OBJ is looking for a team that's going to be a Super Bowl contending team. Yeah, OBJ knows that it's still too early to make a decision. And he's not even healthy yet. He's still rehabbing. So we'll see what happens with, with that. Quite frankly, I would rather try to get one of these young younger guys that's on a, on a rookie deal or at the end of their rookie deal instead of getting some guy who's coming off of an injury. But he won a Super Bowl, but coming off of an injury and trying to get him acclimated playing in a winter time in Lambeau. <laughs> so we'll see, man. We'll see what kind of strings that the Packers will pull to try to, you know, make this team a little bit more better in whatever area they need to make them better in. So with that being said, man, always and forever it's going to be go pack go i'm out